I wish we got to ask about uh, public input. Citizen input. Citizen input. <laughs> we have any citizen input? No citizen input. Has anyone approached you guys outside of the uh, meeting? Uh, we've, on several occasions, we've just been visiting with people who are saying that we're having these that we're having a hearing and that anyone's welcome. Um, I've heard some folks are are fine with it and some are concerned, so we just have to wait and see. Is this hearing on? We're, we're considering a reduction of our precinct sites so from nine. Um, we can do anything between nine and three, uh, including nine and three. <laughs> so um, people I've talked to they want to know what the savings would be to offset the inconvenience. And one is if they're doing it in other counties, if other counties are doing it. I wonder if they are. They are. We had a meeting in Denison last um, Wednesday, and it was actually it was a um, <coughs> re precincting meeting through the Secretary of State's office. Most most um, counties are doing some form of, of reduction. I talked with Clay County, and uh, they're talking about doing something. They haven't had any real proposal on what they want to do something about. Um, what's the, and you know more about this, Jim, than we, um, in, in counties of ten to 12,000, what, what's kind of normal for a number of precincts, and, and I'm sure they're all over, but what what are people Well, um, it kind of depends on, on the concentration of the population in that county. Shelby County, for example, has the majority of their population in Harlem, and so they have four wards in that town of Harlem, and so they're kind of limited on what they can do. Um, Palo Alto County, for example, um, they got, they bought a building in Emmitsburg and, and made a voting precinct or a, a polling center, voting center where a lot of precincts have come together. And, um, why, why would you buy a building for that? Well, I'm, I'm sure they use it for other things as well, but that's that was one of the main reasons that they did that. Um, um, I, I know uh, Calhoun County did some some contraction a few years ago. The Litton folks go to Rockford right. City now. Mm -hmm. What do they have for a number? Do you know? I can't answer that. I don't know. I'm not sure you But in that situation, they just moved to polling places. I think the precincts stayed the same. They just because the issue with they the took, took, took it out of town then. Because I mean, they used to have a site in Lytton, yeah. in Calvin County. Yeah. But I don't think they changed. I don't think that they changed the precincts. I didn't think they just moved. I see. I see. But regardless, they, those people in Lytton still have to go to Rockville City to vote. They do now. Yeah. 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 So I mean, because they used to vote in the school or the Church. 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 Yeah. yeah. Just right yeah. off the island. But uh, getting back to what Jack said about Clay County, they're they're thinking about reducing some of their precincts. They have um, an earlier version of the equipment that we use in our elections, and the company is no longer supporting the software for that particular that's, model. That's what I'm afraid of. And so gotcha. they're they're right up against that very thing that we talked about a week ago. That's, you know, they, their equipment. it may not be the case that the, the equipment is failing, but they won't, they won't service the, the software, software to use it. And that's, that's my concern. Yeah. And when you look at the life expectancy of any computer, you know, we're, we're probably already on borrowed time. Not that we, not that they're used a lot, but the software thing is <clears throat> oh, 
this thing um, on this as part of this re precincting and, and census issues that we have every 10 years. Um, the law provides that wherever there's a, a city of 2,000 population or more and the city and the county um, desire to share a precinct, that that city and the county has to sign this, uh, has to come to a memorandum of agreement to include uh, those two entities as one precinct. And the only place that affects that county is in Sac City because Sac City is the only town over a population of 2,000. So this has already been approved by the city. Um, and if we do, uh, if we do change our our precincts in any way, shape, or form, this will this will still have to be done. But I mean, it would remain the same. Then. Yes. Yes. Probably. Right. And make a motion to approve this memorandum of agreement with the city of. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. All aye. Motion. Does Jack need to sign that or you, Jim? I see how it Oh, the chairman should. Probably. Okay. Memorandum of agreement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 